John O'Hare alongside Coach Sean Tompkins for the main event here. John, the natural Alessio in the red, Pete Spratt in the white. Right to work goes John Alessio, going to control the center of that ring. Pete Spratt coming with a huge Muay Thai background. Uh, we've seen him fight many times, huge career, uh, been in the Ultimate Fighter, came back with the Ultimate Fighter when they did uh, the return of the old stars. John Alessio been on a huge climb and uh, been working his Muay Thai game as well. And we all know that he comes from that uh, millennia Jiu Jitsu background as well as now working at Extreme Couture, putting on the pressure. These guys, crafty veterans, been around this sport for pretty much as long as there's been a sport. Absolutely, I remember watching John Alessio uh, when he was just a, when he was just a kid fighting a big name like Pat Miletic and thinking, "Wow." Nineteen years old. Absolutely. Pat for the title in the UFC. And look at him now. I mean, his career is doing nothing but taking off. Pat has since. Uh, has stopped fighting for a little while here, and uh, here we are. We got Pete Spratt, John Alessio. This matchup's been a long time in the making, Sean. Yeah, I'm surprised that these guys with 70 fights between them haven't met before. Both exciting fighters, high impact fighters. You see some of the fans in the crowd, some superstars. I see uh, Jay the Thoroughbred Huron, IFL World Champion, Mike Dezak, all the way from uh, London, Ontario, Canada, and Sam Stout's sister, Emily Stout, in the crowd. She's a pretty young lady. Absolutely. Brad working the knee there, the secret weapon. Working those knees, what that does, he's, he, I know he's thinking about uh, Alessio's grappling. He's gonna either try and set him up for maybe a takedown of his own, or at least slow down John's shots. Look at John going for a takedown of his own. Real aggressive in this match. Ooh, beautiful slam, right into side position. This is where John Alessio is most dominant. Taking his time, nice press away. He's using that forearm, add a little bit of discomfort to uh, Pete's Spratt, but I'm sure Pete's been here before. Consummate professional with both of these guys. Absolutely. These guys will pull off things that, that most fighters would never dream of doing. Unless you've got to be careful there. Not to get disqualified with a knee, as it wasn't his last fight, but yeah. the fight he was dominating until Brock Larson decided to uh, get bumped with a little knee and steal the win bonus from uh, Alessio. That's right, I'm, Alessio. I'm sure Alessio will not make that mistake again. Especially tonight. You know, when I'm on record saying I don't like that you can't knee in the head of a down opponent. I think guys can hide on the ground like uh, Mr. Yeah. Larson did and, and steal 20 grand from you. Absolutely. Here we go. I mean, we see Alessio giving Pete Spratt the respect that he deserves as a tie boxer and uh, trying to close the di distance, keep him in the corners or on those ropes so he can't kick him. Uh, Pete Spratt is one of probably the most dangerous kickers in, in the sport. I've had the uh, the uh, opportunity to hold pads for him before and uh, it was a great pleasure and I'll tell you I've had my pads kicked by some heavy heavy legs before. Pete Spratt's one of the uh, hardest kickers I've ever held for. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Pat, Pete Spratt, put a little search on YouTube for him. He has got some of the most exciting highlight finishes in MMA today. Absolutely. There goes those legs right now like we're talking. You see a self-pow versus a right-handed fighter being a John Alessio. Alessio pressing the action nice though. He's not uh, not showing too much respect. Look at that inside leg kick he just scored on Spratt. Obviously did a little damage. Spratt nodding his head as uh, that was a good one. Alessio right back to the corner. Trying to get that double leg back to a single now. I think he's, he had so much fun with that first slam. He'd like to get another one in before this fight's over. Nice little pull out. Gonna have to be aggressive. One thing you can't uh, say uh, is that Pete Spratt is not athletic. He's a very athletic, very strong guy. Yeah, both of these fighters, great, great athletes. Keep themselves in tremendous condition and like to push the pace. Unless he's got the underhook there. It's now Spratt pushing him back to the corner. A lot of respect these guys are showing each other here. Absolutely, we've got uh, an underhook on both sides. Both locking up. Alessio's looking for that outside leg trip, and uh, Pete's not having any, any of it. No, he's not. I think Pete, very cognizant that he does not want to be on the ground underneath Mr. Alessio. And John, I think, thinking that he doesn't want to have a kickboxing match with Pete Spratt. Absolutely. I mean, it makes perfect sense the respect these guys have for each other. They've both been in the world. Oh, Pete Spratt with a takedown of his own right into Mount. Oh, and Alessio out of there quick. Just we to get out of it. Seconds left in this round. We've got an armbar attempt being put on. Look at the Ale Alessio's putting that knee on the face. That's got to add a lot of discomfort to Pete's brat. Yeah, that's not fun. But uh, I mean, Alessio is in a dangerous position right now. He's got to get out of this armbar or wait the timeout. Ten seconds left. No chance for an armbar here for Spratt. 
We'll just wait it out for the end of round one. Steve Mazzagatti is ready to step in, and there it is. Great round by both guys. Excellent to see. We've seen some stand up, we've seen some ground, and an awesome finish to that round. You see them both jockeying for, for position. The takedown from Pete Spratt. Nice outside leg trip. Into Mount Alessio does not want anything to do with that. And the Muay Thai specialist was going for the armbar. How about that? We've seen him land that, that armbar right, before. Hit so that in the UFC one time a while back. In Absolutely. Las Vegas, the premier country nightclub here in town. Helping us out all night Getting some uh, attention from his coach and manager, yeah, Sven Bean. Letting him know, obviously, how important this fight is to Pete Spratt. And uh, John Alessio in the corner with one, the only, Sean Tompkins. <laughs> Again, back to those sponsors we talked about before. How important is it to get paid, these athletes and the coaches? Yeah, well, you must be getting paid if you look like a small grape. <laughs> Round two, ready to begin? Oh, they don't touch it up right to slug, and I like to see that. Yeah, the aggressiveness is on the go in this fight. Both athletic guys, both ready to rock. And look at that, they're showing respect to both uh, both guys. He's right about to unleash a matrix move and then didn't pull the trigger on it. Spratt, surprised not to see him throwing more kicks in round one. I think we'll see that change in round two. They're back into this clinch, clinch position. Alessio likes those leg trips. Pete Spratt likes to knee and kick, so uh, this is actually a, a, a dominant position for both guys. I'm a little bit surprised that, that Spratt has agreed to engage in this clinch as much as he has. I thought he'd want some more distance and want to work his kicks and his punches. Oh, there's, a there's that kick. Oh, right to the head of Alessio. Unless you're going to have to set up those shots and going for those legs. You've got to punch first. There's another kick. Wow, that landed right on the forearm of John Alessio. And that's the secret weapon going to work. He is so exciting. Non-stop action once he gets going. Alessio ties him up into the corner. Right back into that clinch position. Neither fighter is breathing heavy. I mean, that just shows how great a shape these guys in, how seriously they take this sport. Right back to that single leg takedown, that trip, that outside trip, sorry. And uh, let's heal oh, passing the easily. The bad spot for Pete Spratt. We've seen Spratt here before. John Alessio with the hooks in Spratt trying to. Wow, see. and I don't know who taught Spratt to go to the standing position. He's been here before. It doesn't work for him. He should have stayed on the ground, curled up in a small ball, make it hard for Alessio. Alessio just got to wait him out right now, and if his feet go to the ground, go back to that double leg as quickly as possible. Johnny is an expert at this. Riding high in the back for Pete Spratt. Using that corner post with the, the upcoming Affliction Band show. Oh, Going for that rear naked. I think it's over the chin though. I think it's over the chin, but if he's patient. Readjusting. The arch of the back is not a good thing. Oh, the tap out is there. Alessio checking his forearm. I wonder if he broke his arm from one of those kicks. Alessio enjoying the win. Another big one for him. Another step up the ladder. That kid is going to be a welterweight champion. A welterweight world champion, Sean. Here with John Alessio, the winner of that fight. Congratulations on that. He was hitting you with some big shots there at the end of that round. Started to put you back on your heels a little bit. Were you feeling those shots? Man, that bastard can kick hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure my arm's broken. Uh, I felt the bone snap, clicking and clacking while I was trying to choke him. I was like, I gotta get this choke. <laughs> that was a great job when you had a, you're up on his back and you took your time getting that choke. What were you looking for to sink that choke in? Uh, I knew my jujitsu was gonna be, you know, a little better than his. So I knew if I just stayed there, worked it, was patient, that it would come to me. Were you, were you surprised by anything, especially that arm bar that Pete Spratt tried to pull off on you? That get, did that catch you by surprise at all? No, I mean, when he fought in the UFC against Zach Light, he caught Zach with that arm bar. So, you know, I knew he's been working his jiu-jitsu. This is MMA, you gotta be doing that stuff. So, I work jiu-jitsu every day, felt it coming, went for the figure four block. You know, just stayed patient. Affliction Band, July 19th, the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, live on in-demand pay-per-view.